I'm not back from Australia. I didn't go to Australia. Actually, they're very clear in New Zealand how much they don't like Australia. It's a real rivalry that I didn't know. In my mind, as a simple American, I kind of thought Australia and New Zealand were like the same thing. <laughs> But I do have some funny stories from New Zealand that I'll tell you guys, uh, involving Aiden's and balls. It turns out, when you fly from LA to New Zealand, it is a 21 hour time difference. So basically, you're not jet lagged at all. <laughs> basically, you're just in a, a day ahead. Cause that's where I've been. If you guys wanna know where I'm again for the past week, I randomly, after quitting Nvidia, was talking to Aiden. He's like, yeah, I'm thinking about going to New Zealand. Do you want to go? I just said, F it, yes. <laughs> so it's just me and Aiden on a rando trip. And you know why he wanted to do this? Because Aiden was at a grocery store, a high-end grocery store called Erewhon, which is for pretentious douchebags. <laughs> He was at a high end grocery store in LA and he just met some random 20 year old kid who was visiting LA from New Zealand. He talked to him for, I'm told, a grand total of two minutes, became somehow close friends, got his number, connected with him, and got an invite to come visit his farm in Southern New Zealand. So we're gonna go out and we're gonna see, we're gonna meet this guy. Uh, we have exactly one week to enjoy New Zealand. So yeah, we're gonna go there and meet this guy named Sean and we get to New Zealand. Well, I should, should tell you one thing. <laughs> I should tell you the video. <laughs> so, so a flight to New Zealand costs like $1,900 round trip for regular like economy class flight. It costs a little more because we bought a little late to be honest, okay? If you want to upgrade to like a nice seat, you know, with like a kick out footrest, fancy meals. If you want to go big, that shit will cost you roughly $1,400 to two k just one way. No fucking shot. I'm paying that or Aiden's paying that. However, Two weeks before the flight, I get an email from Air New Zealand saying that I can bid. They have like an auction system and I can bid on an upgraded seat. You can bid however low or high you want. And if no, if the seat is unfilled, it will take your bid. <laughs> I'm a gambling man. <laughs> Fuck it, dude. So I toss the last bit of my profit that I had from Las Vegas. I tossed four hundred dollars. As I get to the airport and I'm sitting at the airport bar, I meet up with Aiden. Aiden, what's up? Get ready for our trip. I get a ping on my phone that my bid has been accepted. <laughs> so for I got a sixteen hundred dollars savings, and instead of sitting next to Aiden back in the fucking cheap seats, I get to fucking sit in first class. Well, not first class. I don't even have first class, but whatever. Premium. And then I get to board first. I get to kick my feet up. So. This is what I do. <laughs> we board, I board, all right? I board, I get settled in, I get comfortable. Aiden has to come in later. You know, he's like fucking 7,000th in line. He has to walk past me. <laughs> he's shaking his head, dude. He has to walk all the way to the very back in the back of the plane. And I'm just laughing, whatever. And then, okay, the plane takes off. And every seat, even the ones in the back, as a, as a monitor, you know, as like a screen in the seat in front of it. Mine's a little bigger, whatever. And it also has built-in seat chat. So if you know somebody else's seat number, you can send them a message and it will literally pop up like an instant messenger on their seat screen. I text Aiden <laughs> and I go, Aiden, there's actually quite a few open seats still up here. I think you could just run up here and snag one. And he's like, wait, how would that even work? Like, aren't they gonna catch me? And then I text him. <laughs> And I'm like, bro, I just talked to a flight attendant. I think we literally can get you changed. What's your seat number? <laughs> I didn't do any of this. <laughs> he goes, oh, I'm 59A. Once I get his 59A, I type into the thing. <laughs> I make my username Aiden Poor. <laughs> and then I message him, broke Omegalo. He gets a pop on his screen, which he accepts. <laughs> he accepts and it's just, a pop-up message from Aiden Poor. Oh, it was. Mwah. Then he texts. I hope. <laughs> then he texts me. I'm gonna fucking kill you. At which point, take this time to block him. <laughs> block his ass, dude. Cause I can't be hearing all that. Now there is a part two to this story, but we'll get to that on the way back. So okay, then we get to New Zealand. So we land and we get a rental car, right? And the thing about the rental cars in fucking New Zealand is that they're on the wrong side of the road. I've already decided that I don't like this. <laughs> this is, I'm very uncomfortable right now. I got too big of a car to do this. For yeah, this, this is tough. Oh man, dude, no we way. are gonna crash. <laughs>
<laughs> you can't do it. Because you don't know how far it is on this side. Dude, you I, don't. Don't, I don't know how to gauge the distance. So the car's pretty big and he's on the wrong side. So he keeps like swerving into the wrong lane and they flip the windshield wipers and the turn signal. So every time Aiden wants to turn, he blasts the windshield wipers full speed. <laughs> Also, all the roads are small. And the problem is I'm not that helpful of a navigator because every time he's like checking to see if he should turn, if I see any car coming in any direction at all, I immediately go, oh God. <laughs> at first, like almost unintentionally and then as a bit and it freaks him out. He, he like jerks the car. <laughs> uh, and thankfully we don't die, but we do make it all the way to the hotel. And then we go to the meetup. This is the meetup at the Giant Hands in Wellington. If you'll notice, apparently, this used to be a sculpture in a different city, Christchurch or something. And it was so popular that Wellington just stole it because it was good for tourism. So we showed up with the giant glizzy hands, you know, obviously. And uh, this is everyone that showed up. These are all people that came to see me and Aiden. They were all super fucking nice. Uh, everyone was polite. They actually, they brought us like chocolates and other like New Zealand snack shit. It was cool. So it was sick. A lot of people were like skipping work though. <laughs> uh, like a very good number of people were like, yeah, man, I just blew off work. Like I was at work and I just left and came here. And I was like, shouldn't you go back? And they're like, nah, nah, they don't even care. <laughs> it's, I, I will say one vibe that I got throughout all of New Zealand was laid back, bro. Which is why I think this country is ripe for invasion. <laughs> I hate to be the one to say it, but it seems to me like you've got the most beautiful fucking country I've ever seen and you're all pretty chill. Nobody's working all that hard. I think we need to fucking pave paradise and put up a parking lot, dude. Yeah, I noticed that everyone, everyone was, and everyone was just pretty laid back. Um, well, the guy at the cafe when we got fucking coffee. No, I didn't get coffee. Aiden got coffee every day. I didn't get any coffee. Uh, everyone, they were just chill. Everyone was like easy to talk to. So this was cool. After this, a huge chunk of this group went to a war museum for Gallipoli. After that, of course, we got McDonald's because <laughs> we have to enjoy some real authentic New Zealand food. I think that's it for the day. Next day, we drive all the way down, take a big ass ferry, go to the South Island. If you guys don't know, New Zealand is actually two big islands, North Island and South Island, and they're way farther apart than I thought. Like there's not just a bridge that connects them. You have to get on a fucking three hour ferry. So uh, we go to South Island, we drive all day. Then we meet Sean. And Sean is, again, the 20-year-old Yard fan, Marketing Monday, HRAC fan. He's a marketing student. I don't know anything about him. And I'm worried, you know, I'm worried he might be, like, weird. Turns out, through pure luck on Aiden's part, Sean is incredibly cool. <laughs> and uh, he knows everything about New Zealand. Not only does he, like, know a lot about New Zealand, but he grew up on a farm. He knows everything about, like, New Zealand agriculture and food exports. And he's really proud of his country. He says it a lot. Like, he's, like, deeply, deeply proud of New Zealand and wants us to experience the best parts of it. Which is, like, the perfect person to show you around. Anyway, I'm going to show you Sean. There. There's Sean right there. Chat it up. Uh, we drive all the way fucking down. On the way, we just pull over at one point, And it's like, it looks like, dude, it looks like this. It's fucking incredible. It's just dumb gorge. He just pulls over and he's like, yo, we're going to fucking walk down to this. There's like a river. This is not an exact screenshot, but like a river. And just drink from it. <laughs> so we like walk all the way down the hill. Just walking. He leaves the car open. Leaves the door of the car open. And we just walk, I don't know, like a fucking half mile down to the river and just drink delicious water from the stream. It's crazy, dude. I'm a League of Legends grinder. This is not... Uh, the whole thing is just beautiful, right? This is the this is the actual landscape where we went down to this river. And there's me and Eamon, dude. Just boys. Then we come back up. And on our way on our way driving back to where we're going, which is Queenstown, he says, this is the bridge where bungee jumping was invented. <laughs> and I'll be honest with you guys. Before I went on this trip, I thought, yeah, I think I'd like to bungee jump in New Zealand. And then I got up on that bridge. <laughs> I didn't want to do it. I'll be honest with you, boys. I looked down the bridge and I didn't want to fucking do it, dude. I didn't want to fucking jump off that fucking bridge. I got a little queasy, to be honest. I'll tell you who did, though. And I'll give him the Giga Chad of the trip award. Eamon Gaiman, dude. I think I yell at him and he donut walls me because he can't fucking hear me. Hey, how you feeling? At that point, I kind of wanted him to fucking rope this thing. <laughs> Just kidding, dude. Just fucking kidding. I just, I don't know why you don't know why your friend like that is going through the effort of filming a video. Uh, 
Whoa, baby! Look at that! Touches the water! Hey, wait, but isn't the water fucking beautiful? The whole thing's beautiful as all hell. So shots to Aiden, because he did do it. It's It was like a 140 foot drop, I think. So bungee jump, beautiful landscape. And then we get to our hotel for the night. And this is what Aiden booked. Excuse me, motherfucker? You know what is a fucking problem? Fucking queen twin, dude. <laughs> it leads to a heated debate, at which point we have a rock, paper, scissors, best of three that Aiden gets fucking... 2-1 smoked in, so I actually stay winning because after first class flying, I get in the fucking big bed and six foot two Aiden is in the cuck bed. <laughs> Dang winning, dude. If anybody here is a Yard Patreon member, we did record a solo dolo Atriac Aiden driving podcast when it was just me and him. And we talked about, do you think everyone in New Zealand has fucked a sheep at least once? <laughs> I said no. We talked about fucking Gandalf had a RAV4. <laughs> if it would have made Lord of the Rings a lot easier. We, we got covered a lot of big, we covered a lot of big topics. Then we finally get to fucking Queenstown. And I just want to show you this. Queenstown is the most beautiful place I've ever been on planet Earth. I have never seen a place more beautiful in the Earth than Queenstown, uh, New Zealand. It looks like fucking unreal. It looks like Pokemon. I felt like New Zealand was fake and they had strapped me into a VR headset when I landed. <laughs> Mountains into the clouds, beautiful sunny day. Everything was green. Everything was lush. Everything had nature. So, and Sean showed us around that. Now, Sean's family just uh, was owns a farm, but his aunt apparently had it fucking made because this is like the view from her fucking balcony where we got to stay at, with Sean. It was just fucking nice, dude. It was just nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So then we go to the top of the mountain and there's a, you can't really see it, but you can luge down it. It's like, it's like Mario Kart. And we start racing for money. I think we put 500 bucks on it, me and Aiden. And as we're going down around a big turn, Sean comes in and slams into me, which slams me into Aiden, which knocks him out. <laughs> No, knocks him like off the track. And then he gets up and tries to catch up, but there's no way he can catch up. And I just go like this, woo! Zoom my way to victory. And I win <laughs> 500 bucks off Aiden. Now, at that point, we did another bet. It went down to almost nothing. So I just want you to know that like I didn't stay 500 bucks up on Aiden. But at one point, Aiden was getting fucked left and right. <laughs> and then after the gone to little luge thing, we go to the lake but we're late in the day. Cause you know, like this lake, oh, I wanna like, I wanna swim in this in the middle of the day. Even though it's cold as shit right now, at least it's hot, you know, it's sunny. But when we finally get there, it's like this. And it's fucking cold, icy in your veins. This is where Aiden's cock and balls come into play. <laughs> we're sitting on this pier, we're standing on this pier and we're trying to hype ourselves up to jump into this lake. Sean is by the way, right behind us. Sean is, Sean is also here. And then Aiden goes, <laughs> Aiden, unprompted, out of the blue, goes, the only way I can psych myself up is if I'm naked. <laughs> this is not a joke. For whatever reason, he says that, then immediately takes his fucking swim trunks off. He's just cock and ball out, dude. Then he goes, huh, 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 just bouncing all, jiggling all around, and then jumps in. I'm, I'm literally not kidding. This is exactly what happened. No, I had no fair warning. <laughs> anyway, he fucking, he leaps in to the ice cold frigid water. Now the water must have been cold because, you know. <laughs> uh, I'll be kidding. Uh, but he does jump in. Uh, I jump in after him. Sean jumps in. It's fucking ice to your bones cold. Instantly we have to swim back and get out. I mean, it's just way too cold. It was fun. Every time you jump in, it's really fun because your brain like lights up like you're gonna die. <laughs> Two, one. Whoa! You know, just get in there, get 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 icy, dude. Come on. So I've seen Aiden's cock and ball before I've seen Ludwig's now. Okay, then after the last day, after we say goodbye to Sean, by the way, just shout out to, get to Sean. Sean, how do I say this? Sean, I could tell had seen a lot of my content, but he never called me the Glarketer or Glizzy Goblin or Coffee Cow one time. He is effortlessly cool. <laughs> He's um, uh, applying for a marketing job in this week, and we all gotta wish him luck. So I'm, I'm wishing him, wishing him all the best. I <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, dude, because we kept saying every time we saw a view like this, I kept saying like my favorite joke the whole weekend was like, could really use a parking lot though. <laughs> could really use a Walmart, you know. But if you if you could see the smog <laughs> glistening over the 405. <laughs> 
That's beauty. We get driven back. We, we fly back. We drive back. We say about to Sean. We fly back to Auckland. And the taxi driver says, you guys look like you're lucky boys. <laughs> and he drops us off. We just wanted to go to the city center. But he drops us off right in front of a casino. <laughs> at 9 in the morning. He drops us off in front of a fucking nearly empty casino at 9 in the morning. And Aiden, just coming off of Las Vegas, where he lost like 9 grand. <laughs> He is like literally having Vietnam flashbacks. Like he does not, he's begging me not to go in the casino, but I'm like, should be all right. <laughs> and then I'm like, come on, dude, it's fate. I tell him, you know, we'll just look around. We'll just look around. And we walk up into the casino, but we get in the casino. The entire place is empty. Like every table's empty, except for one blackjack table that has two guys on it, <laughs> two young guys. And one of the guys who's got a big stack of chips, and he's like, it's nine in the morning. He's gambling like a fiend. He looks up and he goes, is that Atrioc and Aiden? <laughs> Come play! I'm not, I shit you not, dude. At 9 a.m. in a random fucking casino, this dude who is gambling for no reason recognizes us and asks us to come play. So we can't say no at that point. It's, that's literally fate. So we sit down. I think the guy's name was David, but I fucking, I'm not sure I remember. And I asked him like, bro, why are you gambling here at 9 a.m. on a Monday? <laughs> And he says, my girlfriend's in class and I have to wait for her to get out. So I just sit here and gamble. <laughs> Fucking giga chat, bro. All right, cool. So he's gambling and me and Aiden sit down. We put all the American dollars we have. We convert them and just fucking try to play. Aiden is, Aiden, every fucking hand Aiden is like this. Finally, you know, we've been there for like an hour and it's like, okay, we're not going to gamble all day. We want to see Auckland. So it's like, let's go. And like, let's put it all in and go. It's like, it's like a thousand dollars each on a hand. Aiden gets a good hand. The the guy next to us, David, gets a terrible hand. He's out. Uh, I get like a pair of eights. The point is I need to split to have a chance. All right. I, I have 16, dealer has 17. I need to split my eights to have a chance. I don't have any more money. I have no more money. I can't split. The guy, David, takes a rack, gives it to me and says, split them. <laughs> so we split it. I get two 18s, which is godlike. I beat the 17. I win $4,000. I give him 2,000, obviously. Obviously, I don't keep it. <laughs> Although, that'd be fucking hilarious. Aiden wins, I win. So, we have a fucking massive come up at the last second. Everyone is celebrating. By the way, I'm like hugging this guy. I'm hugging David as the as the cards are coming down for the 18s. And I'm like, yes! Slapping his back. Dude, it, it's oh, such a rush. And we all win big. So, by the way, the moral of the story is gambling always pays off. You always win big if you just put all your money in. Gambling is great. Get it twisted. So anyway, it's all over, right? We go to the airport. There's only a few people that are like famous New Zealanders. Who would you expect to see in your wildest dreams next to you in the TSA line? Basically empty. It's empty. It's late at night on a Monday. It's not a busy airport. And literally, I'm talking about as close as me in this chair. There's a dude next to me. And I, I look to the left, motherfucking Carl Urban of the boys is right next to me in the TSA line. It's fucking crazy. So anyway, I'm thinking, I really want to ask this guy for a picture. <laughs> and then as he's like leaving, he's like, he's like walking away. This girl goes, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm the biggest boys fan. And I, I hate to stop. It's like being incredibly polite. Do you mind if I get a picture? And he's like, oh yeah, all right. You know, whatever, he's, whatever he says. And so he takes a picture with her and he chats her up a little bit. And she asks, um, you know, where are you headed? And he goes, I'm going to Toronto to film the next season of The Boys. And she like flips out. She goes, yeah! And at this point, I'm like, I can't jump into this. <laughs> By the way, he's like, he's like kind of edging out of the conference. Like he has to go. Like he's leaving and he's like, all right, I gotta go, gotta go. Like he's like, she's freaking out, but he's like leaving. And it really, it's like eating me up inside because I really want to do it. But like the second he finishes the conversation with her, he like bolts off, like he leaves. I missed my chance uh, of seeing fucking Carl Urban. But this is my plan. So I look at all the flights and I realize, uh-oh, there is no one on here for Toronto. So either he lied to that girl or more likely he's connecting in LA, which means he's probably on my fucking flight. <laughs> and I'm telling all this to Aiden and I'm like, you know what? Since I'm in first class, I'll probably be seated next to Carl. <laughs> Like me and Carl are gonna be boys. And he's like, no, you're not. And then I just keep making jokes. Like I'm gonna, you know, I, I might tell Carl about you. Aiden. You're, you're a funny podcast. Maybe I'll tell Carl about your podcast. I keep, <laughs> I keep running this bit into the ground. We finally get on the plane. I get on a little late. So I don't get to board like right with the first people. But I, but I get in my seat and I'm not, I'm not next to Carl Urban. <laughs> I don't know if he's on the flight, but I'm not next to him, dude. I don't see Carl Urban. Big fucking bummer. However, this seat next to me is unfilled. <laughs>
It's, uh, technically it's filled by this lady, but she moves to a different seat. <clears throat> I, I'm texting Aiden on the flight app. <laughs> You know, I'm like BRB or whatever. And then I go to the seat next to me and I make my username real Carl Urban. <laughs> and I send a, a friend request message to Aiden's seat. And I'm like, hey, Aiden, heard you were a big fan. <laughs> oh, it's a fucking hoot, dude. Aiden immediately texts me back, fucking kill yourself. <laughs> Which is extra funny because the woman whose seat I am intruding into, like she left, but she kind of sees me like leaning over and texting on her seat. <laughs> and I can see her looking at the tech because she's only one seat over. She's like in the row in the aisle instead of, or she's like, whatever. At which point I block Aiden on both seats and take a nap. And that, that's the end of my flight. Oh, last thing I want to say, because this will come up on the yard. <laughs> I forgot to mention it. I did at all rest stops in this entire journey, play Hearthstone religiously. <laughs> yeah, it might come up on the yard. <laughs> that is the story of New Zealand. It was fun. It was fantastic. I highly recommend it. One of the most beautiful countries I've ever seen. And uh, I look forward to going back. I will be going back for sure. Check it, check it. Hey,